Hello, welcome to episode two of the Treehouse Experiment. I'm Ruud. I design and build things. In this episode, I build the beam structure around the tree. I will be installing the five meter long main beams and a diagonal support structure while fighting the weather. I also learn a new skill that can be best described as wooden beam origami with a Japanese handsaw. Enjoy! The five meter long beams are heavy. I have to slide and maneuver them in place. Slow and steady. The clamps prevent the beams from falling off the structure. These blocks will lock the 5 meter long beams in place and connect them to the structure. They also prevent warping. Nice! The total drilling distance is about 40 centimeters. It is hard to see if the angle is correct. I like using a digital level to drill through the beams. If the beam is not perfectly vertical, it is possible to match the angle of the drill with the beam. The long beams need some support.
The structure will be self-supporting. Some nudges are necessary to keep the beams in place. Voila! The beam is 16 centimeters high, so it is necessary to drill some holes to sink the screws into the beam. The blocks support the end of the beams. Because of this, the diagonal supports from the base of the tree can be shorter and more stiff. Natural beeswax is my favorite grease for long screws. It does not make such a mess as mineral oil does, and it also smells nice. The last part I always tighten by hand. I like to feel the resistance. This way it is easy to judge if a screw is tight. The drill can destroy the wood or even snap the bolt. Precise cuts like these I like to start and end with a Japanese handsaw.
Now it becomes challenging. Because of the extreme angles, it is impossible to precisely draw the cuts on the beam. I did a quick test. As you can see, this is no success. I am in need of a more advanced approach. I'll start with some measurements. Rain. Of course the rain came at an unfortunate moment. During the rain I made a computer model of the treehouse structure. With this model it is possible to determine how the beams need to be cut. This was also the moment I realized I may be out of my league here. For my design to work the cuts need to be very precise. It seems like wooden beam origami. This will be a challenge. Experiment 3 Wooden beam origami There is a lot that can go wrong and the margin for error is small. From now on I measure twice and cut once. Coffee will be my friend. Finishing the cuts is very satisfying. Folding sandpaper like this is a nice trick to make the sandpaper last longer.
rain. More rain. Even more rain. Because of all the rain, I decided to put wood oil on the beams before installing them. I'm using 100% pure tongue oil. This natural wood oil is solvent free and even food safe. I like the color and depth it brings to the wood. From all available wood oils, this one has the least yellow or orange tint to it. Because the oil is all natural, it takes about one to two weeks to dry. Time for a break. I messed up the guitar recording, so I'll show a part of the music video I made at the same spot earlier this year. We are called De Sterrenwacht. Alles lijkt vaag, nu ik door handen word gedragen. Wat is goed, zeg maar. Voel me te goed, ik ben ze positief, het is misselijk maken. Daar bood ik kelders vol met stroom, schouwen ogen. De billen groot, liefde te komen, licht en zwaarte kracht voor ogen. If you are interested in more of the Dutch music and music videos I make, I put some links in the description. Back to reality and back to building. The rainwater went wherever it could. The drainage holes remove and prevent pockets of water in the structure. This emergency solution has to do until the roof is installed. A moisture meter is a quick way to check if it's safe to apply wood oil or paint. 15% moisture or lower should be fine. I apply oil to the parts I cannot reach later. The rest of the structure I leave untreated for now to dry more. The moment of truth. The idea is that by rotating the blocks they will lock the diagonal beams securely in place.
So far it works out perfectly. It seems all the cuts are accurate. As you can imagine, I'm very happy. To have a stable structure I put in a lot of bolts. Experiment 4. Metal tubes to prevent beams from sliding. Now this part is only held in place by bolts and screws. The rings will prevent sliding and I like the holes as a design feature. Finally, no rain. A couple days of sun dried out the structure pretty quick. I take this opportunity to apply wood oil, because more rain is coming. <laughs> 